In the U.S., uh, heat recovery in terms of commercial ventilation isn't all that common, especially up in the north. And what we have here is a Swedish heat recovery ventilator, or HRV, that uh, is for light commercial applications. And we have the opportunity to evaluate this in a cold climate. And uh, we're able to evaluate its ability to bring in fresh air as well as evaluate its ability to recover heat. Starting right here, this is where the, uh, the return air, the stale air from the building, comes in right here. This is, these are some filters, but the airstream goes right through this part of the HRV, and this is where it exits uh, out the building. This is the exhaust. Right here, there's a rotary-type heat exchanger, and we're protecting that from a uh, buildup of dust and dirt by using these, these filters. What's happening here is this is bringing fresh, cold air from outside, goes through through another set of filters, it picks up that heat that it just recovered from the outgoing airstream and then sends it into the building. So what happens here is the return air, the stale return air coming from the building passes into this chamber, passes right through this uh, heat exchanger and the heat is transferred from the airstream to the metal and then the air continues right on out into, uh, into the exhaust duct. Now you've got this warm metal that is transferred down into the, uh, the intake airstream where it recovers that heat and sends it right back into the building. One of the complaints that sometimes you hear with regard to heat recovery ventilators is that if you're sitting there working, it may be pulling in cool air and blowing it on you. So even though it may be 20 below outside and you are recovering heat, you know, the air is only going to be, the supply air is only going to be so warm and that can be uncomfortable. One of the ways to overcome that is you put a reheater in, uh, you're just supply, heating up the supply air. In this case, it's a hydronic uh, reheater. So we've got hot glycol that just goes through a, uh, a liquid to air heat exchanger. And um, as the air blows across the heat exchanger, extracts the heat from it, and then the, cools the glycol, and the glycol gets heated up down by our heating system. And as a result, then you, you get comfortable air blowing on you. What we have in our, in our building addition is our occupancy sensors. And these occupancy sensors, can they look primarily at, at CO2, carbon dioxide, and look at if we have uh, an influx of occupancy, say a classroom, uh, a class comes in, then the CO2 raises up and our Siemens system has the ability to open and close the supply air and return dampers to each to the classroom or to other parts of the building. And when those, say for instance, uh, we open up one of these, these pairs of ducts, then you have a drop in the system pressure because you have another hole in the, in the system. And uh, the sensors here actually detect that pressure drop and in return it increases the fan speed to bring the pressure back up. So it's a constant pressure system and the idea is to maintain uh, the required airflow to the building based on occupancy. This is a, a continuous ventilation heat recovery ventilator. What this does is there are pressure sensors on either side that can say, hey, uh, we're, we're collecting frost on this. So what it'll do is it'll actually slow down the, the rotation of the heat recovery uh, heat exchanger. And in, instead, what it'll do is it'll uh, reduce its own efficiency in terms of heat recovery, but it'll maintain ventilation. And so that's, how it, that's its method of uh, frost protection. The most common defrost mode is when um, the core starts to freeze. Uh, one mechanism is to just recirculate the indoor air through the core 
and send it right back into the building so that you're not bringing in cold air and freezing that core any further. So what that means is there's a window when you're not ventilating, you're not bringing in fresh air, instead you're defrosting that, uh, that heat recovery or that, that core. Well, this is a light commercial HRV system and it can be used in applications such as apartment buildings or multifamily units. Um, its efficiency is about 55% and what that translates to is in our application for this building is about $6,000 a year savings. Uh, just by having this unit and by recovering that heat. And on top of that, we get uh, occupancy comfort and um, fresh air.